Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate the motion sensors on your iPhone. Let's get started. Now calibrating the motion sensor is a pretty simple process here and I'm going to show you the simplest process I found online. I'll just talk about a few of the other ones later on in the video. But for starters, what you want to do is open up your compass application and you want to make sure you're opening it fresh. So if it opens up and you see the compass here, what you want to do is double click on the home button and close out of it. From there, what you want to do is again, just open up the compass app and it should give you this calibrate section here. From here, all you're going to do is sort of just drag around a circle, getting the red dot all the way around and just going back and forth a little bit, playing with it until the phone does calibrate and opens up the compass section. Once it's done that, your phone has now been calibrated. Now, a lot of people use this method. That's from what I've read online. I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but try this if you're having trouble with the motion sensors of your iPhone. If this doesn't work, you can try some other methods, some of which are restoring the iPhone, so you can go to your settings, tap general, scroll all the way to the bottom. It says reset here and you can reset all the settings, you can reset the network settings, you can try these methods. Uh, just make sure that if you do any of these things, you may delete some of your files and folders, especially if you erase all content and settings there, that'll erase everything on your iPhone. So back up everything first. I would recommend doing it through iTunes rather than this method, that way you can back everything up to your computer and then you can sort of restore it from your backup. So that's another method. There's also the method that if you have an application that has a step counter involved with it, you can actually hit the settings and there may be a calibrate setting within that as well. So that is how you calibrate the motion sensors on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and share this video with your friends if you think it helped them as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.